हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स अ वेरी वॉक गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू एंड वेलकम बैक इन अवर साइंस सेशन सो इन अवर साइंस सेशन वी आर डिस्कसिंग अवर लेसन दैट इज व्हाट गेटिंग टू नो प्लांट एंड फ्रॉम दिस गेटिंग टू नो प्लांट टुडे वी विल डिस्कस द न्यू कांसेप्ट दैट इज व्हाट फंक्शंस ऑफ अ लीफ सो इन अवर प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव डिस्कस अबाउट द पार्ट्स ऑफ अ लीफ आल्सो वी हैव डिस्कस अबाउट द रिलेशनशिप अमंग्स द टाइप्स ऑफ द रूट एंड द टाइप्स ऑफ द वेरिएशन so today we will move for the next concept from the same lesson that is what functions of a leaf so let us discuss what are the different functions of the leaf so first one we will discuss that what manufacture of food so the very important and very useful function of the plant is what manufacturing of the food so as we know the green plants are there in that the green leaves makes their own food with the help of the one process and the name of that process is nothing but what photosynthesis it is called as what photosynthesis so these are the two words we have combined together so photo means what light and synthesize means what combine together okay or to bind something together to synthesize to make something okay so in this way what happens by using the light and also by using the water and by using the carbon dioxide in the presence of sunlight and chlorophyll plants makes their own food and that process we are calling as what photosynthesis and this photosynthesis what tell us what photo is light and synthesis means what combines together so we can say that what putting together so in this way how the green plants are making their own food with the help of the carbon dioxide and water in the presence of what sunlight and also in the presence of chlorophyll plants makes their own food in the form of what glucose and also they gives out o2 that is what oxygen okay so this is the one equation that we can say for the photosynthesis process co2 means what carbon dioxide plus water they combines two things these are the raw materials they combines in the presence of sunlight and chlorophyll and then they makes their food in the form of what glucose and also release out what oxygen gas which is very useful for us for the breathing process so this is the very important function of the leaf that is what manufacture manufacturing of the food and that process is called as what photosynthesis so plants are making the so much food and that food is getting transported to the all the parts of the plant and also that extra food what is remain or whatever the food is remain that they are storing in the form of starch okay so they are this way while making the food the plants are making the food in a large amount in the form of what glucose so some of the glucose they are utilized to perform the different activities in the plant and then also the certain glucose is remains so that left on glucose they are storing in the plant in the form of what starch so they are storing their extra food that is their remaining food in the plant of starch in the leaves okay so here we are having one activity that with the help of that activity we can say that we can conclude that that plants or the leaves can store the extra food in the form of starch that activity we will see with the help of this video starch test is conducted to prove that sunlight is necessary for photosynthesis initially de-starching of some leaves is done some leaves of the plant to be studied are covered with a strip of paper or foil this is done before dawn to block the sunlight any starch present in the plant leaves after de-starching is formed under experimental conditions the plant is then exposed to light for few days few uncovered exposed leaves and leaves that were covered with foil are then detached from the plant starch test is then performed on the detached leaves to examine the presence of starch detached leaf from the plant is dipped in boiling water for 30 seconds boiling the leaf in water destroys the enzymes thus prevents all the further chemical changes during the experiment leaf is then put in ethyl alcohol to dissolve the chlorophyll 
leaf gets decolorized due to the loss of chlorophyll pigment and becomes pale yellow in color. The decolorized leaf is then washed in water and dipped into the dilute iodine solution. Presence of starch can be detected visually by change in the leaf color. Leaf exposed to sunlight turns blue-black a bluish-purple in color, which demonstrates that the photosynthesis was going on in the leaf, therefore producing starch. On the other hand, leaf that was covered does not show any change in the color much evidently and hence gives brown color with iodine. Since the covered leaf did not receive the sunlight, no starch is formed in it. So, it is inferred that plant manufactures starch in the presence of sunlight by the process of photosynthesis. Now we will see the next function of the plant leaves that is nothing but what? Exchange of gases. Okay, exchange of gases. As we know on the surface of the leaves there are the very tiny minute spores are there or the small holes are there which we are calling as what? Stomata. Well, then we are calling as what? Stomata. So stomata are what? The small or the tiny openings on the leaves with the help of that the plants are also doing the breathing process. Okay. So how is exactly happen? So with the help of this stomata they can exchange the different gases. Now exchange of the different gases means what? We are doing the respiration process like that the plants are also doing the respiration process. For that purpose they are taking inside oxygen and throwing out carbon dioxide. And also the plants are performing the photosynthesis process and for that they are taking inside carbon dioxide and release the oxygen. Okay, so like that two processes are work out with the uh, by the plants that is what that are what we can see that photosynthesis and respiration. So during these two processes there is a need for the exchange of the gases and when exchange of the gases it takes place through the stomata. So this is all about the stomata. You can see the image of the stomata. Okay, how it exactly the stomata. So with the help of that opening the plant can do the exchange of the gases during the photosynthesis process and during the respiration. Also there is one more opening present on the plant or we can see that on the tree trunk or on the stem of the old plants there are the very small very minute tiny openings are there that openings are called as what lenticels. So that lenticels which are present on the stem of old plants helps to do the exchange of the gases in the plant. So with the help of the stomata and with the help of the lenticels but these lenticels are present only on the stem of the old plant. So with the help of them the exchange of the gases takes place. Okay. So up till now we have discussed about the two functions. Now we move, move for the next one that is what? Transpiration. So what is been by transpiration process? So as we know the plants are taking the water in a more amount or as much as possible they are taking that much water or they can absorb the more and more water with the help of their roots. But whatever the amount of the water they have absorbed that much all the water is not in, uh, utilized by the plant. So that excessive water they are throwing out with the help of the stomata in the form of water vapor and that process is only called as what transpiration okay so the plants are throwing out the water in the form of water vapor with the help of the stomata and that process is called as what transpiration okay so this transpiration is also important in the plant how is it let's discuss how the transpiration is important in the plant so see whenever we are feeling hot our body started to sweat more and more and after some time we are feeling cool okay so how is it it, it is same as a transpiration okay so the sweating keeps our body cooled down like that this transpiration process in the plants also helps the plant to keep their normal body temperature or we can say that the transpiration process also helps the plant to cool down their body different parts of the plant so here this transpiration process cools the different plants organ okay so this is about what transpiration and also as we know what is meant by transpiration the throwing out the excessive water through the stomata in the form of water vapor so because the loss of the water the roots absorbs again more and more water and minerals and then they forward into 
the upside of the plant okay so in this way leaves helps the plant to take more or to absorb more and more water and minerals from the plant okay so in this way this transpiration helps the plant in this two different way so up till now we have discussed about the three functions of the leaves that is we have discussed about manufacturing of food exchange of gases and also we have discussed the transpiration of food so for that transpiration only we are having one activity that we can with the help of that activity we can conclude that the plants are releasing the water vapor during the transpiration so this activity we can see with the help of this video Today we will stop here. We we'll meet in the next video. And for today, thank you.